Hey, Sonia, you'll never believe where I'm having my wedding. Unlike all those other boring ass weddings that others have, mine will be held at a really nice wedding venue in Tonga. <laughs> it's time for you to be more aware of our differences. I'm not going to let you boss me around anymore when I'm allowed to do whatever I like. <laughs> oh, hello, Rebecca. My uh, lovely almost sister-in-law. Is that so? You're going to have your wedding overseas? Well, that's good to hear that you're doing all that. But I don't think I was intending to boss you around, and I don't think I've ever really done that to you before since you speak so openly about what you want, so I don't know what to say to that. No matter how many times I try and voice my suggestions to anyone, especially you, Rebecca, no one listens anyway. I don't mind so much anymore, but it's a little bit frustrating. Wow, okay, I never thought that you'd be so smug about a wedding ceremony. I feel so good about this wedding venue because I was about to get a more luxurious place than you. And unlike others just choosing to not eat better before the wedding day, I'm on a strict and regimented diet until the big day. I'm trying so hard to look good for this wedding, actually. Okay, but even though you said that, what do you mean you're on a strict diet for the wedding? I don't think it's anything unusual. I hear a lot of women try and do it, but some choose not to as well. Oh yes, well I guess you must know everything, since you always rub it in that you got married before I did, huh? I bet you're feeling extremely smug right now, huh? It's not something to be proud of, Sonia. The one guy that you were able to snatch up was my little brother. <laughs> you're nothing special, and it's not really something to be proud of. Oh, I didn't know you felt so strongly about my relationship with your little brother, Rebecca. I think he's one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. I've never met anybody like him before, plus we knew that we loved each other very much, so it was only natural for us to decide on getting married. I thought of all people that you'd be the most understanding. If it were me in your shoes, I'd never marry my younger brother. <laughs> Do you understand how naive and immature he is, Sonia? He's supposed to be the man of the house. He just lies down and says yes to anything. How can he turn around and say he likes cooking and cleaning the house, huh? Seriously, what kind of drama show is this? <laughs> I don't think it's very acceptable to say a statement like that in this day and age. Considering anyone of any gender can stay home or go to work. Don't you think it's best to hold back a little of what you think? Are you kidding me right now? Don't you dare tell me what to do. Shut up, you stupid, pathetic woman. If I'm saying that to you, then I'm allowed and that's final. Things should be just the way they are, not what you and my little brother are doing. That's exactly what's so annoying about you. You think you're so special? No, and I don't think that about myself at all, Rebecca. Even though you're my sister-in-law, you can't just turn around and dictate how my relationship and life should be with my husband. No matter what gender someone is, they should be accepted to enjoy the hobbies and other things they like to do. If they find a job that suits them, that's fine too. That's what I think anyways. So whatever you're up to, Rebecca, please just only think about it in your mind because I don't need any problems at the moment in my life. I want us to get along, Rebecca. Ugh, I'm not surprised that you'd say some crap like that to me. You and my little brother are very similar in that way. <laughs> You're both so gross. Do you think justice will prevail if you speak up, Sonia? <laughs> okay, that's enough now. I really don't have the time or energy to have this type of conversation right now. I understand why you're boasting and being like this. Because your wedding is just around the corner and you want to show off. I get it. But you need to forget about me and enjoy the time getting married. That's way more important than a petty fight. You only get married once, so please enjoy it to the fullest and leave behind all the drama. At least until the ceremony and the reception, it would make things a lot better if you did that. I'm allowed to do whatever I want before my wedding. I don't need to be told what to do by the likes of you. <laughs> Unlike you, I will marry a man who makes an excellent salary every year. I'll be able to immediately quit my job at the company I'm working for, have a child, and be able to have a rich and happy life. <laughs> life for me will be ten times better than what your life is like. <laughs> okay, well that's great to hear that you've got all of those things to look forward to, Rebecca. Just keep on remembering that and stop giving me and my husband such a hard time. I wish you happiness for this wedding. Please tell me that I didn't just see your face looking around being nosy, did I? It's just my mind playing tricks on me, right? I swear, I didn't invite you to this ceremony. Huh? 
What on earth are you talking about, Rebecca? You didn't invite me? What's that supposed to mean? Just now I couldn't find my name on the shuttle bus from the airport. We're all just talking about what has happened. I'm very confused as to what's going on here, Rebecca. Why is my name not on the list of people? Because your name wasn't put on there in the first place. That's why you're not able to read it on the shuttle bus. Like I said, I didn't invite you. The only people that got invited to my Tongan wedding were my family and all you're being right now is a nuisance. You'll be left behind at the airport and won't be allowed to attend the ceremony. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? Are you seriously calling me a nuisance? And of course I'm a part of this family, so I should be invited. I don't get it. First of all, I've got problems with the seating as my name's not on anything, and I'm very worried because I should be able to attend the ceremony. But of course you've got no seat since I didn't put your name down for one. What were you even thinking of coming all the way to Tonga when you weren't invited? I'm telling you right now, you're not welcome at my wedding ceremony today, and you'll face my wrath if you show up to this venue. You need to go on home now, you piece of scum. Okay, I see what you're doing here. You made me come all the way down here just to say I'm not invited and do whatever you like. Am I right? If you're going to go this far and making me feel like crap, then fine. I understand you completely, Rebecca. I guess I'll just get on a plane back to the United States then. Oh my god, thank you. It finally sunk in what I was trying to do to you. But you did a lot of work to get here, so I applaud you for that. I'll be able to take the next flight back as soon as it's available. Even if you start to regret your actions later and try to contact me, it'll all be too late for you, Rebecca. Excuse me? Are you kidding me right now? Why do you think I'm going to regret the decision of not inviting you to this wedding, huh? I'm busy over here, you know. I don't have time to listen to stupid stories about people who came to Tonga without getting my permission to come to this wedding. Now hurry up and go home, so- All right, well, you're the one telling me to do this. It's on you if this all backfires, Rebecca. Just don't come running to me when things start to fall apart for you. Hey, Sonia, why aren't you replying to me? Stop being so rude. Pick up your phone right now. Where the heck did you go all of a sudden? You need to get back here immediately. But didn't you tell me to head back to the United States, Rebecca? Please stop trying to mess with my head, okay? I am busy returning home. I'm just doing what you told me to do. If you don't stop this madness right now, you're going to end up looking like a really bad person and you'll end up in a lot of trouble, Rebecca. You really need to think about what you say before you say it. Please consider people's circumstances before acting so irrationally like this. Stop this right now. What on earth are you talking about, Sonia? Are you seriously trying to go back to the United States? Look, if you've not left Tonga yet, then come back here now. Well, there's no way that I'm going back, okay? I've already checked my luggage. I got the tickets in a hurry as well since it's getting busier here. Rebecca, I'm not going to be influenced by your selfish and disgusting actions anymore. I'm done putting up with you flip-flopping like this. Hey, I'm not doing anything like that at all. Look, you need to get back here. You're the one who's familiar with the area. You arranged everything for the venue and the hotel, right? How on earth did I not know that you did all of this? Why don't you say a word about this to me, Sonia? What is going on here? This isn't making any sense to me. Yeah, I planned basically everything. That's why I really wanted you to thank me when you messaged me a few days ago. To be honest, I kept quiet for your sake. But why on earth would you do something like that for? Why wasn't I kept in the loop? Why is this happening, Sonia? Explain this all to me right now. I don't get it. Why are you so involved with planning my wedding, Sonia? As soon as I found out about it, you just vanished. Why is it that my ceremony is getting canceled? So I'm sure you know already, I'm working as a manager. A fellow manager I know started a business specializing in weddings in Tonga. These are some of the managers who have been good friends of mine for a very long time. I specifically asked that person to hold your ceremony here in Tonga. The wedding venue was originally fully booked out and could only be reserved three years in advance. I somehow managed to force myself to hold it back. So you can be very proud of yourself that this has all happened. I'm not surprised that things would turn out like this, Rebecca. Huh? You're some kind of manager? Weren't you just some worker bee like most of the people are these days? I thought you had to get a job because of my brother. I heard that his income was so low that you both had no choice but to work in some meaningless jobs just to make ends meet. Isn't that the truth? Well, you obviously don't listen to me, do you, Rebecca? You were the only one who thought that. 
I don't even remember introducing myself that way. I take pride in my work, actually. I'm the type of person who wants to concentrate on work and takes care of the house as well. Your little brother supported me in my ventures, so that's why he's doing what he's doing. It's partly why I'm married to him, Rebecca. He's so helpful and supportive, so of course this is the situation that we've got at the moment. Huh. Is that so? Really? You're not just playing some kind of evil trick on me, are you? So, this ceremony that's being cancelled, have you got something to do with that? Well, you did turn around and basically call me scum and an evil demon, no? I honestly think after the way you've treated me, Rebecca, you had something like this coming. But I don't understand. The people at the ceremony are really mad at me right now. Do you have any respect for me, Sonia? I was told that I was the one who sent you home when you chose to. Uh, well, you can imagine how this all looks for everyone else, Rebecca, since I'm not there in front of them. <laughs> it's very clear that this wedding venue is run by a businessman. <laughs> They're very famous for not putting up with any crap from the people who hire out the venue. They kick out any customers whose behavior they don't like, Rebecca. Look, that's why they do everything in their power to make the wedding of such a lovely couple the best day ever. But they also need to make sure the guests are taken care of. That's why it's such a popular place to come and get married. The people who get married here, one of two things happen to them from the ceremony being performed here. The couple are either all lovey-dovey and stay together forever, or their marriage gets jinxed. I've heard many of those rumors going around. I actually know that, all right? That's why I was so happy that this venue got booked for my wedding so that I can be married for the rest of my days. But now it's all going to be ruined because of you, okay? So you need to get out of the airport and come back here quickly. I've got no choice but to drag you back here. Wow, that is not the attitude I was expecting of you, Rebecca. But you can't change what you said and did to me. I went out of my way to listen to you and what you wanted. I told you that I understood and that I'd get out of your way so you could get married. Do you think that I want to celebrate you even though you didn't want me attending? Are you stupid or something, Sonia? Don't you realize that you're going to be my sister-in-law? Haven't you been listening to anything I've been saying? It's only natural that you come back here because you're my relative, right? All the family is supposed to be here and you're abandoning my wedding to get on a plane? Because you told me to leave and go back home. I'm just following your orders, and now you're telling me to do the opposite. Don't you remember what you said about me when you chased me away? The wedding will be held with only relatives, and you didn't class me as a relative, which is kind of messed up when I'm married to your little brother. You said that I'm better off going home. That's what you said, remember? But now you suddenly start treating me like a member of your family? What's with that? Well, that's something that I just said in the heat of the moment. I was obviously looking down on you a little bit because you're so bossy and everything. If I knew that you were involved in this wedding, then none of this would have happened. Hey, actually, just wait a minute. Why did you keep so quiet about something so important like this? Didn't I tell you before? It's because I was thinking about what would be best for you. Your pride is just too much, and I thought you'd definitely hate me even more for planning something for you. I thought that you'd be mad about me arranging the wedding for you. I thought maybe she'll start complaining again. I just wanted to do something nice. I was so proud of my own wedding and I wanted to do something for you. I was even preparing things for it and you were acting all smug about it, right? That's not entirely true. I was just trying to talk about the details. You might think I was, but I really wasn't at all. If I just knew the truth, oh, there would be no problems right now. But to be honest, Rebecca, there will always be weddings of a higher standard than my own wedding. I just wanted to surprise you with all of this. I don't think it's possible for ordinary people, or rather, I think it's very difficult for them to have a nice, wonderful wedding like this unless they've got some connections. That's why I kept it such a secret, because I wanted to give you such a good feeling on your special day. And I also didn't want to boast about my connections to make this happen. From now on, you're not to complain about anything I do anymore, all right? I have hoped that you won't do something like this to me ever again. So let's prepare more for this wedding ceremony so that we can continue having this conversation like adults. Don't you agree, Rebecca? Is that something you really did for me? Uh, so are you going to come over to the wedding that you were secretly preparing for me until now? You were so excited, right? Well, yes, I was actually. As expected, you're able to have your wedding at a better place than I did but you decided to say just horrible and sarcastic comments towards me. But that was also expected, since we obviously don't get along very well. But now you'll be happy with your husband, and you can forget what I tried to do. 
It would have all been great if you actually stopped messing with me, Rebecca. But you didn't think I was a member of your family, and so you decided to send me back from Tonga. I really didn't think that you'd be that much of a scumbag to me, Rebecca. I guess I was very wrong about you. You're completely different than my husband. Hey, how dare you say things like that to me? It was just all a big joke. You don't actually think I was trying to send you home, do you? That's insane if you did. I was disgusted that something like this happened because I was looking so pretty and I was doing a strict diet so that I could fit into my dress. I was angry at you because you said that you thought in a different way than me when we're women and you didn't seem to understand what I was doing. I thought it would be better off if you weren't here to make me any more angry and that's why I chased you off, but I didn't know you'd try and go home. Oh, really? Is that so, Rebecca? Well, I admit you're trying to be very honest with me right now, and I thank you for explaining how you feel. But this has got nothing to do with whether you're beautiful or not. I wasn't fully involved with this, so it wasn't exactly any of my business how you were preparing yourself for this. I don't think I have a bad personality at all, and the things you said to me were unacceptable, and it was downright horrible. I failed my dieting regime. It wouldn't be horrible of me to just laugh out loud about it, but now that I think about it, I can't hold it in over how angry you got over something so pointless. Okay, alright, I get it, Sonia. Would you please just stop going on about it and do something? Can we just move on from this so that you can get back here immediately? I was told that the wedding venue and the accommodation have both been cancelled. Everyone here is in a huge panic. Please help me out here. The groom's relatives are also really upset about what's going on. They think that it's my fault that the wedding and this marriage have been canceled. Huh, is that so? Well, you know what, Rebecca? It's not a story that I'm really interested in hearing right now. I've already started my journey back to the United States. I've gone through security and I'm about to go and find my gate and wait there until we all board. It's impossible for me to turn around and come back at this point, Rebecca. And on top of that, the ceremonial hall manager himself found out about these series of events. I don't think he's going to change his mind now. It seems like you're not going to get your happily ever after, at least not in Tonga. I don't think I want to do anything nice for you ever again, Rebecca. You just ruin it. But you know that this has all been just a huge misunderstanding. I, I can't just accept this, Sonia. This really can't be happening to me right now. No. You know, it's such a shame it ended up like this, Rebecca, but to be honest, it's all because of your horrible attitude towards people. I'm a good person who was trying to do a good thing. Without you knowing anything about my plan, I was able to find you a wonderful venue for you and your fiancé to get married at. I was a little envious. Your wedding was going to be so much better than mine ever was. I took the time and effort to reserve this place for you, and you more or less threw it back in my face. I didn't realize that someone could live such a smug life even though I was the reason why you were able to get a place like this at all. Someone else was definitely more worthy of it today than you. <laughs> oh, come on, Sonia. There's no need to be like that with me. Please, just make things go back to the way they were, okay? It's not too late to start from now. I was actually really looking forward to the ceremony and being able to walk down the aisle. Please, just stop being unreasonable and come back here. There is absolutely no reason for me to listen to any more of your requests, as you're a complete stranger to me now. Whatever needs to happen now, you're doing it on your own. I'm sure that there's some way that you can figure this out. You're smart, right, Rebecca? Please be proud of yourself for at least getting this far. <laughs> Please, Sonia, don't leave me here to sort this out on my own. I, I need you back here to help me. You've got all the details, and since you're a manager, you know how to speak to the event planner person. Don't leave Tonga. I need this wedding to happen so that I can be happy, okay? If you leave and don't come back here, you're going to pay for ruining my special day, and I mean that. Don't you dare threaten me. I want nothing to do with what's crumbling around you anymore, Rebecca. You did this to yourself. If you had been a bit nicer to everyone, none of this would have happened. They're calling me to board, so I need to turn off my phone. Good luck with all your problems. You can deal with them on your own. Why don't you act like an adult for once in your life, for goodness sake? Hey, Sonia. I'm deeply sorry for what happened yesterday. It should never have turned out like this. My sister. I can't believe her. She was brought up better than this. She's been so horrible to you. I never thought she'd do something so outrageous like that, especially since you came all the way over to Tonga. She wasted your money, your time, and effort, too. Yeah, that's basically what she did. 
It's okay, Carlos. I heard everything from the people at the ceremony. I heard that you yelled at her about the wedding ceremony. I can't believe how angry you got about it when usually you remain so calm about these sorts of situations. I was actually happy to hear you be like that, Carlos. Oh, really? Well, yes, it is very unlike me to burst into anger like that. You should have been in similar seats as me, and I knew something was wrong when your name wasn't on the list for the shuttle bus. I never expected you to even come to the ceremony since my sister planned to not have you be there. It's so messed up. There's a limit to how much a person can take from someone, so- Yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. To be honest, I'm glad I didn't give in to her and show up. The bus list was how I found out I wasn't even invited in the first place. On the contrary, my mood changed about this very quickly. I realized that I would be more productive if I went home and worked. I don't think there's been any damage done, to be honest. Oh, really? Is that so? <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, Sonia. She seemed really annoyed when you said no, you weren't coming back. Well, after all that drama, it seems that the ceremony wasn't held in the end. I mean, I told her that the manager wasn't impressed with her attitude, so what happened afterwards? Everyone knew her attitude towards you was really bad, and things kind of spiraled out of control. Even the groom's relatives were disappointed in the situation unfolding. Her fiancé was yelling at her and told her that the marriage was on hold for now while he thinks what the next step is. I think he'll decide what to do from now on very carefully. Yeah, I can imagine so if he doesn't want to be with a woman who has a poor attitude towards her own family members. It's not right at all. It would be better if my sister suffered a little bit more for what she's done to ruin yesterday. She should really think before she speaks her mind. Yeah, I've got nothing more to say about her or the matter. I no longer want to be in contact with Rebecca anymore, Carlos. She's made my life miserable for way too long, and I just think she's a horrible person to be around. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go down with her. She knows where our house is. I heard from my parents that she's trying to apologize to you for what she did. And it sounds like they might have believed that, and they told her where we live and to try to talk to her at our house. I can't believe they did that when we obviously don't want to talk to her. Wow, your sister actually wants to apologize? Does such a thing exist when it comes to her? I've never heard her say sorry once since I've known her. Right. It seems like there's something going on behind the persona she's portraying right now. She might be thinking of harassing you some more. Anyway, that might be something that she could be planning. I've got no idea. Just please be careful when it comes to Rebecca. I want you to be safe. I understand. Don't worry. I'll make sure that she doesn't do anything to me or us anymore, Carlos. Thank you for getting in touch with me, my dear. I'll talk to you later. After talking to her husband, Carlos, she made herself busy by going to work. The house was empty, and footage was captured of Rebecca going to their house. She ended up searching for bags, jewelry, and anything else that she could get her hands on. She got revenge by committing arson for Sonia not returning to the wedding venue in Tonga. It was found that she was definitely the culprit of this crime. Sonia was able to collect all the evidence that she needed to pin the blame on Rebecca. There's footage of her wandering around the house, breaking into things, and setting a room on fire. Sonia was able to file a report of crime and damage to her property. She then reported it all to the police. Rebecca never thought that her wrongdoing would be discovered by Sonia. She should have been more careful, as many people these days have cameras in their house in case of theft or fires. Rebecca tried to apologize to Carlos and Sonia while she was busy sobbing. Not only was Sonia shocked at what she did to them, but Carlos and the rest of his relatives were stunned by her actions. They all thought she had gone crazy. There wasn't a single person taking Rebecca's side. She was then taken away by the police. With this happening, it seems like her marriage to her fiancé was off the table for good. She ended up tying herself in so many knots because of how she acted towards Sonia and the rest of her family. It's nobody but Rebecca's fault, after all. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.